Good afternoon, I'm Garrett Fedora, and you're watching MediaPlex Live at One. <music> Windsor City Council went into the early hours of the morning discussing the city's annual budget. The meeting concluded at 1.55 this morning. Topics of the night included the city ending its eight-year property tax freeze with a 1.7% increase in the taxes this year. The raise will cost the average homeowner $48. The city also added a one-year trial for a program to pick up bulky items curbside for a $20 fee. Check out our website for the entire budget summary. Downtown Windsor businesses are not all happy with the foot traffic to their stores. Nate Hinckley has more on the story. Windsor's Palicia Street has gone through many different changes over its long history. Some retailers have made a go of it with their businesses, where others have left and moved away. Debbie Croucher, Executive Director of the DWBIA, feels that there's hope for the street and a promising future. There's a lot of life that's come back onto Palicia Street. There's a tremendous amount of opportunity. Um, and there are very few vacant retail spots on the street. What, what builds retail, what makes a place a destination, is having that cluster, and that's why it's so very, very important. Neelan Sharma, owner of Little India, has been at the Palicia Street location for two years now and thinks a grocery store might help. Some daily needs where people has to come and sit here or do their work, maybe it's a medical or maybe it's a groceries, and maybe it's a government offices, maybe it's a, a passport office, anything. Where you will see, yes, 100 people has to enter in downtown daily basis. One thing is clear, retail space will always be available on Palicia Street. For the Mediaplex News Now, I'm Nate Hinckley. Recently, St. Clair College kicked off their year-long 50th anniversary celebrations. Being in the community since 1967, the college hopes to continue growing. Here are some highlights from the kickoff. Good morning, everyone, and I want to welcome everyone who is watching uh, online. And we have got a great, great production, 50 years in the making. Past, present, future. St. Clair's philosophy concentrates on individual improvements to benefit the community as a whole. With their vision, excellence in all we do, and our mission, transforming lives and strengthening communities through high quality and accessible educational experiences that support career readiness, innovation, and lifelong learning. We have had the honor to view the athletic department grow and build state-of-the-art facilities as well as the development of our student athlete scholarship program. These are just a couple of things that make St. Clair Athletics as great as it is. The roots of St. Clair College can be traced back to 1958 when 104 male students attended the first year technology program at the Western Ontario Institute of Technology in a small schoolhouse on Mercer Street to now multiple campuses, people in Toronto watching, hello Toronto, people in Chatham watching, hello Chatham, and of course everyone here in the city of Windsor. And of course 95,000 alumni gone through St. Clair College, which is quite incredible. St. Clair College is a pillar of our workforce, but it is also a pillar of our community as a whole through the, the role the college plays in helping to shape the people pass through it, all 95,000 of them. Are you ready? Taking a look back, in 2011, the Chatham campus opened its 53,000 square foot healthplex. The recent announcement of Oscar nominations is shining light on the Windsor International Film Festival. Nine films that were shown at WIF this year garnered 14 nominations. They included Manchester by C, L, A Man Called Of, Life Animated, The Lobster, and Land of Mine. WIF hopes to have more successful years to come. Turning to weather now, today will be cloudy with showers and a high of 5. Overnight we drop to 1 degree Celsius, and tomorrow there will be a chance of showers and a high of 7. Thanks for tuning in, I'm Garrett Fedora and you have been watching Mediaplex Live at 1.